The main point of this video is that students will understand Jacksonian democracy. And you could, you could read the quote here. I, I like to look at short quotes. The reason I like to look at short quotes is because sometimes, especially students with special needs and students from diverse populations, they have a difficulty reading an entire section of, even just one section of a history book. That's like five pages. That's a lot of reading for someone that, that has very difficult time with content knowledge. Because content knowledge not only has content knowledge like Jacksonian democracy, but it has words like democracy in it that that a that someone from those populations might have difficulty understanding. And sometimes it helps to break it down in such a way that you have just a paragraph of analysis that you're doing. So it says the founding fathers had not foreseen all, and it goes on to talk about all the things that the founding fathers had not foreseen. And the first thing that you always have to do, always, 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 is have kids summarize what they're reading. And so you can see the question is the question is embedded in this sentence starter. And let me just take a break from this lesson for a second and talk about sentence starters. Sentence starters are a godsend, and you should use them every day of your life. As a teacher, they will save you so much time, they will save you so much grief, and they will teach kids how to write complete sentences. So, and it and it teaches them how to write high quality content. So, and it says the main difference between the founding fathers and the Western states was that founding fathers believed. And so you can see here that the students have to, have to, uh, have to think, okay, what did the founding fathers believed and what did the Western states believe? And they have to look for that. It's sort of a hunt and peck part of the lesson where they're looking within this paragraph up here to try and figure out, you know, what is important to, for this re, uh, for this reading. And after they've done the summary, we're going to do some inference. And in this case, it says the Western states probably eliminated property qualifications because, and so there's no more hunt and peck after this. At this point now, they have to in, they have to make their inferences. And so as they're reading, it says that they they eliminated property qualifications for voting and holding office. Well, why? And so the students have to think beyond themselves a little bit and think why would someone want to eliminate property and. Uh, qualifications for voting and holding office and that's something that students have to grapple with and consider and there's also kind of a multitude of answers in this case and we have to consider that as we're as, as we're making this as to how to look at all these multitude of options and come down to one that we write as our answer and then after inference also we need to do a little bit of word review like some students may not know what the term qualifications mean and it might do some good to take some time to define it whether you want to do it on the board as sort of like an open sort of a semantic map or however it is that you do word review have students come up with a definition of, of qualification that's in a language that students can understand and it's and I think sometimes uh, teachers want to jump right to the forming your opinion and I'm really against that for one reason is that is that that assumes that kids can summarize and infer things on their own and the and the, and the studies have shown that students for the most part need to be taught especially kids from diverse populations um, and sort of uh, exceptional circumstances uh, have trouble doing just that summarizing that inference and sometimes we have to make that more explicit for them and sort of going over these words semantically because they have to understand all of these things before they can move forward and do the forming your opinion but when they are forming their opinion again you should have sentence starters for them because you have a certain thing that you're looking for and if you don't know what you're looking for then you just really actually you really need to stop and think well, what is it that I want and what I want is for them to be able to differentiate between the founding fathers and the Western state point of view. And so what you have to do before they form their opinion is to have them consider both sides. So first of all, they're going to consider what was good about the founding fathers. And secondly, they're going to consider what was good about the Western states. And after they've considered both sides of the opinion, then they can form their opinion in the your opinion section right here. The, then they could say I agree more with and they could say they agree either with the founding fathers who said that maybe the rich should run things because it just it's just more stable and it makes more sense or do you agree with the western states that we should eliminate property rights and that all people should be able to vote and it should either be this more hol holistic democratic process and this is a conversation that you can have with your students as they are as they are forming their opinions all right so that is something to consider as you're, as you're, and this is actually a pretty good teacher model because this paragraph is actually pretty difficult. It has a lot to it. And there's also another one that I created called, uh, let me find it, where to go. Um, this one actually, the second example is a little bit shorter if you have students that have a little bit, that need to be broken down even more. Um, and it's the difference between Jeffersonian democracy and the difference and Jacksonian democracy. And I think this is a good sort of independent work for students to do. So I would just look those two over and sort of decide uh, how you want to teach it. But this, these types of things open the door for all kinds of cool things.